Well, hello there. I'm going to show you how to do my spark stitch. So first we'll have a look at it. And you can, uh, there, get it really good for you. You can see what it looks like. Quite an interesting looking stitch. Um, you can see it from the side. It does have quite a bit of texture to it. And the back also looks really good. And it has a lot of texture to it, too. Um, I'll hold it still so you can see it. <laughs> there. It's a black background. Or maybe better like that. So that's what it looks like. And both sides look good. And I wish I could tell you the yarn I'm using, but I don't know. It's a remnant. And uh, I just have what's left in this little ball and another little ball. And it's a really beautiful yarn. And I do remember that it's alpaca. So the yarn is alpaca mixed with wool. And it's quite a, it's a beautiful kind of a purple color. And it's a bulky. And the thickness of it is, it, it's, um, well, if I put it beside this bulky here it's thinner and this bulky is an i love this yarn chunky so it's a bit thinner than i love this yarn chunky it's about the thickness of um well it's even a little bit thinner than a barcelona but so it's a fairly thin bulky but it is a bulky and i'm using this is um one of the circle looms in the Doris set I don't believe they sell it anymore. It's um, just like the Nifty Knitters set. It's like the one one size down. It's the 36 peg. Okay, and it's a, it's a three-quarter inch gauge loom for bulky yarn. The loom hook I'm using is from a company that no longer makes loom hooks. It's an acrylic loom hook, but you can get loom hooks very, very similar to this on Etsy if you wanted one okay all right so this is a pretty easy pattern oh here i have another loom hook here but i'm not going to use it and it's another one from the company that doesn't make them and it's a wood one that's painted <laughs> but i'm going to use this one now i like to use different loom hooks they're different thicknesses and they keep my fingers from getting sore okay so let's get started so what I've done, we're going to do an owl eye edge. And you, as you see, this isn't curling. Although it's a little kind of funky, but it's because it's wool and I had it laying in a bag and I moved it across the country. So huh, there you go. Anyway, what I did was I just cast on. So this is a stitch video. I'm not going to show you how to do a project, but I'm going to give you some tips so you can actually take this and work with it. Okay, so I just did a chain cast on and then I did two rows of owl eye and then I started into the stitch and on the side I'm doing an owl eye border. So I've marked the two pegs on the end and I've marked the other two pegs on the end. You can use even or odd pegs. It makes no difference. Okay. And I'm just uh, going over with the stitch and it's giving an edge like this. Um, you'll be able to see it better here. Okay, so let's go right into doing the stitch pattern then. Okay, so it's a two row stitch. And like I say, it doesn't matter if it's even or odd. First row is owl eye stitch. Now, owl eye stitch, I have a lot of videos, so I'll show you how to do it here, but you can watch my video, um, stitch video on it if you need to know how to do it. So whatever peg you're on is peg one. We wrap peg one and two and knit them over. Okay, like that. Always on peg one, we go behind peg one, over peg one and two, and knit them over, keeping it nice and loose. We're on peg one, we do peg one and two and knit it over nice and loose. And I can show you right here, it's very loose, okay? 
So over one and two. That's all there is to doing owl eye stitch. It's very, very easy. When we come up to the last two pegs here, I'll show you how to do the end pegs. Okay, so we just do the end pegs just in owl eye stitch because it's an owl eye stitch border. So there we go. Now if you were going to slip it, you'd come behind and go over into the owl eye stitch there. But I'm not slipping it, so I'm going to go over and knit it over. i got a knot in, in the yarn here, but since this is a stitch video, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to go over and knit it. And then we do a second knit because we always have two stitches on owl eye like that. And now we're going to go into the other stitch. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, so what we do, get some yarn out of this ball, is we're just going to go behind as if we are going to do an e-wrap but we're not going to do an e-wrap, so we're just going to go behind the next peg, take the loom hook, put it down into the loop, and we're going to scoop this up because we're doing a purl. And we're doing a purl and tightening it, okay? So we go as if to e-wrap, but we're going to purl. And we're going to have the working yarn going this way. And we're going to knit it over. Now what this does is it doesn't give us exactly what a purl does. What it gives us is purling through the back loop. Now, in oop, when you are um, needle knitting and you have a pattern that says knit through the back loop, what we do is e-wrap. So this is knitting through the back loop, just going like that into an e-wrap is knitting through the back loop. But of course, yeah, you knit it over. But if we come back and we do a purl, we're now purling through the back loop. And the way I want you to purl through the back loop is do the purl like this and have the working line coming this way. And that's how we get this stitch. So not in the front, behind the peg, and knit it off, okay, behind the peg, and <laughs> purl it, don't knit it off, purl it, <laughs> behind the peg, and purl it, behind the peg, and purl it, okay? pretty easy. And then the last two pegs are owl eye border. So you, you wrap over it, knit it off, come back over it like this, knit it. And there we go. That's that row done. Then we're back to row one because it's just a two row pattern. So it's just owl eye all the way down. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few more stitches of the row two. Make sure that you understand how to do it. Okay, so there we go. I've done the edge stitches again. And see how this is growing very, very rapidly. Okay. 
So we come behind it, the peg is F to E wrap, but we purl it, pull that way, we go behind the next peg, purl it, working yarn this way behind the peg, purl it, and that's all there is to doing this stitch. That's row two. And there you go. You have a really nice stitch here. Really nice stitch pattern. Looks good on both <laughs> on both sides. And can be used for all kinds of things. With a thick yarn, you'd have a thicker stitch, but this can be used for blankets, shawls, can be used in the round. Um, it can be used uh, for hats, cowls, you name it. Really good stitch for that. It doesn't curl. And you can use any kind of different edge. Put it in the middle of a blanket pattern for a textured stitch. Whatever you feel like. Okay, so until next time. Bye.